Hello everyone, uh, today I would like to showcase this 3-way metadata converter that I made. So recently on Dustless, we needed a machine to uh, convert white concrete powder into cyan for our main storage floor. But we didn't want to replace everything by hand, and because we were using the instant tiletic dupers, which basically when a sand falls, yeah, you can see actually, a metadata converts into white. I guess we could turn off carpet instant floor. And then you can see, yeah, so things now uh, fall normally. Uh, so yeah, we can also show the dupers, I guess. Is this on? No, okay, it's off. So it's true. You can show the flying sand dupers. And you would basically just use these, uh, not as sand, you would use these as uh, concrete powder. Here we go. And then this is the start. Uh, grab another sand. Oh wait, yeah. We need to have a uh, a immovable block. Oh, right, so yeah, it's the fall. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, what is it? Instant falling flag. Yeah, true. Okay, I don't really know why this isn't working. It's probably just like some. Uh, it's a fall here or something. Yeah, whatever. This is basically the setup that you would use. Normally this works, I don't know why it's not working now. But uh, yeah, so we could set both of these to false, and then we could show why we might need a, uh, a system like this. Well, grab our some block, I guess, and stop this. Okay, so now we're over here. And as we saw with the instant fall, the concrete powder would convert. So this is a separate machine that you would run without instant fall. By the way, you can't do concrete powder, you just uh, use white concrete powder because everything, every single time that it dupes, it converts into white concrete powder. So even if it's not falling directly, like this one's just getting pushed along basically. Also, these are like some weird ghost box stuff, I don't know. But basically, uh, Every single time that it dupes, it, it also metadata converts, so you can't even just get away with like having the top layer as that. So here you can see I added an on-off switch, which was an improvement to the previous design, the one that we used on Dustless. Here you can see everything moving forward. And then this is its first metadata conversion. Yeah, so this is the size that the Lightmatic is on, it only has like four blocks of a width. Or three, whatever. But yeah, the way that I metadata convert is I have three different flying machines uh, that are all game tech precise. Basically, this one would push in the block, and this one would zero tick in the previous concrete that it pulled up. And you repeat this and just push the flying machines forward every single time. And that's just how I kind of create it. So we can take rate 100, I guess. Let's see it run across. It's only a one-way duping setup, but I mean, it's still, in my opinion, actually worth it because nobody likes placing that much concrete powder. Oh, so yeah, it, it does generate ghost blocks, of course. I don't know how to fix that, even with the um, carpet thing. Take rate twenty, and I guess we could just take four. Why not? Probably just as fast, yeah. I don't know what else is loaded right now, but I can't really get like a high uh, amount of TPS. But that's fine, I guess. See, so yeah, you could see that it, it basically just repeats this process over the whole uh, thing, and then after once you're done, you could uh, put water. So you can stop the tick for. Obviously, you would just wet it and then concrete. That's basically what we did for uh, dustless. We also made a machine to clear the water, but anybody can make a good three-way flying machine that can clear water, so... I would recommend using somebody like Mangoes, which is like five wide and double-sided. Something much faster than this. So yeah, you could just uh, have the fence gate for the on-off system. Whenever it gets moved forward, this observer will get triggered twice, but 
this piston won't get powered before the sticky piston retracts it. So that's fine. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that that piston zero ticks whenever uh, it gets a, the second pulse. But yeah, that's basically it for the metadata converters. But uh, this won't be used on many servers, I don't uh, assume. Mainly because of the issue with the sand tapers. So as I showed before, these don't really work with uh, just regular like piston sequencing and stuff with observers. So the way that these work is with uh, instant tile ticks. So if we wanna, I guess, yeah, we could paste it higher slightly. So let's grab the sand duper. Stick. Okay. And paste it like this. Next, let's grab concrete before all this sand falls. And then grab bedrock. So this wouldn't work normally. For this, you would need uh, instant scheduling first, to be true. And you would also need uh, instant falling. Ah. Slash carpet instant falling flag, true. So these are the two rules that you need to be true. Why isn't this working? Someone's like fake sand or something? Hell. Oh, this is Y0. Yeah. Not smart. Yeah, basically, obviously, if uh, with the instant fall or whatever, if something falls on Y0, it doesn't get duped or whatever. So, yeah, you can see here, uh, everything is like falling instantly, and there's a lot of different segments that don't work with uh, instant fall. Or, sorry, sorry, without uh, instant tile tick. So basically, this observer, this would brief power this piston, this would lose its block and stuff like that, so it would completely ruin the whole moving forward segment back here. Obviously the dupey doesn't even work, because, I don't know, it's rail stuff, I'm not good at that, okay? I, I, I didn't look into the code, this isn't my machine. But uh, basically, yeah, this machine needs instant tile tick, which, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's only... Uh, what do you call it? Dustless, Proto, and maybe Hakate, I think, might have it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all the servers that I know of that have an instant tile tick. Uh, I would assume that somebody might be doing a tutorial for it soon. Uh, I can imagine a few people doing that, maybe Pentasteve, who is the server owner of the server, by the way. He's, he uh, was the one that did our setup. Uh, with a uh, custom floating water. But yeah, basically you would need these rules on to use these machines. And uh, I guess we can actually show this with concrete powder to prove that this actually works. What? Okay, I don't know what is happening here. These ghost blocks. Okay. So replace that. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, this needs to be concrete powder as well, I assume. Right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's how you get the concrete. But even if you were to put in... We can actually show this, I guess. Oh. Looks like the server shut down. Yeah, so basically, uh, Penta loaded uh, some chunks that had some stuff that breaks it with the instant topic. Okay, so yeah, you can see the concrete duping. That's basically what we did on Dustless. We repeated this machine a, long, uh, a lot of times because we were way too lazy to build a stone generator. And it ended up being a lot nicer. But yeah, this is uh, the metadata converter. I guess I could show the lightmatic. Uh, if I find it. Ah. Three-way metadata, I think it's called. Yep, this. So this is going to be the like, matter that you find in the description. 
Uh, obviously, you can adjust the subregions as you want, uh, but just make that they make sure that they're in the same spot. But uh, other than that, that should pretty much be it. Obviously, your ground level would be uh, right under this concrete. It does need kind of like a perimeter on each edge, so it it'll have two blocks uh, on this edge, so this block and this block, uh, and then on this block it'll start metadata converting. I think on the end it also needs two blocks, and on this end, one. Or no, two. yeah, so it needs one block edge, and then you just need one extra block on this side. It doesn't need to be the full row, though. So yeah, basically, there's just like a, a small perimeter, but you could easily hand uh, fill that in. That's easy to do. Or if you really want to design like a one-way, uh, one two-wide metadata converter, that shouldn't be too hard. But uh, yeah. So, in case you're wondering about the way that we do the zero ticks, I'm basically using update order here. So this is the piston that pushes, and obviously with last updates first, this observer is going to power and power this piston before this observer can power this piston. So the way that it works is basically this is last, so this powers, and then after that in update order, this would power right after. So that this would uh, be immediately powered and depowered within the same tick. And that would cause the zero tick, which is needed for a metadata conversion. As I said, er, I really don't know much about metadata converting, but I just kind of figured out timings and then that was really all that I needed and it worked. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, Lightmatic will be in the description. Thank you guys all so much for watching and uh, yeah, bye.